Americans are excessively eating, drinking, smoking pot, and playing video games and watching porn while quarantined. Oh, fucking shocker. The following program is rated TV M-A-N-O-C. It contains a big pair of nuts directly on your chin. It is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. What's going on, fam? It's your boy, Papa Swolio, back with some more nuts on Yochin. On Yochin and Yochin. You get nuts and you get nuts. What's going on, fam? I hope you're enjoying the beard. This is like quarantine beard going on. I said I wasn't gonna cut it until we flatten the curve, but then it's gonna be really fucking long. So drop down in the comments if you want it to go wild, just fucking free, or you want it to be trimmed and sexy. Mama Swolio, she wants to cut it. Anyway, welcome back to the channel. Make sure you like the video if you like it. I think you will. And subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed and check all the links down below for Swole Normous X and for the Swole at Home special. Remember, everything I talk about here on this channel with brain gains meditation, with yoga classes, with mobility, with foam rolling, with dumbbell, band, kettlebell training. I'm sweaty as fuck. My hair is all greasy and sweaty because I just pumped. I am investing in my body and you need to as well. So it's not just talk, it's application. So Enormous X has all the training. You can stream it to your TV. You can put it on your phone. And I usually talk about this a little bit in more depth at the end of the video. So make sure you watch all the way through and I'll give you a little more context inside Soul Enormous X of what exactly we have. Have. And like I mentioned, we have the Swole at Home special right now, so you can get started with no setup fee. All the links in the description down below. What up, Swole fam? What up? This video is about a fucking article that I just read in Forbes magazine. Well, Forbes online. This was sent to me that says that Americans are excessively eating, drinking, smoking pot, playing video games, and watching porn. People are just furiously fucking beating off <laughs> nonstop in quarantine. Just <laughs> Anyway, as if this is any different, Americans are fat fucks. Everyone's obese. Everyone. You walk around, well, you're not walking around too many places right now, but everyone's got a gut. Whether you're skinny, whether you're fat, you got a big fucking gut. People can't see their dick or their puss. Americans are fat and lazy already. This just is going to compound it. Now, what bothers me about this is if it's like, Oh my God, people are eating more? People are playing video games? People are whacking off more? No shit, Sherlock, no shit. People are in their rooms. What do you think they're gonna fucking do? Do you think they're gonna do more yoga? I mean, Soul Fam, you are. But do you think they're gonna be meditating? Do you think they're going to be practicing yoga and exercising? No, they're gonna be playing games, watching fucking Tiger King and beating off. And that's what it says right here. Alcohol sales are skyrocketing up 243% for online alcohol sales. That's absolutely ridiculous. Pornhub traffic is up 11%, so people are beating off 11% more. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Psychology Today is referring to the weight that will be gained as a result of this quarantine as the Quarantine 15. Oh. The Quarantine 15. First, it was the Freshman 15. People do not sleep in college. People eat garbage college food and they're drinking all the time. The freshman 15, I gained muscle. I gained a lean mass because when, when I went to college, the gym was right next to my dorm. So I fucking pumped all the time. But I'm not the average person apparently because the average person is just whacking off and watching Netflix. So everything is up. YouTube is up, of course. Almost 30% of streaming was on Netflix. So everyone is just face fucking themselves with Netflix garbage. And kids are at home just playing video games. So the problem is as unemployment goes up, as people become more and go deeper and deeper into depression and despair, this is what I'm trying to get across. I'm trying to do my part and keep you from going down that dark rabbit hole because the only thing that's gonna come from this are things like social distancing disorder and there's gonna be a medication for that. They're gonna create these different names like the quarantine 15, quarantine disorder. People are gonna have all these different phobias as a result of this and what's gonna happen? More medication, more pharmaceuticals for you to take to make you all better. Fam, we have to take care of this ourselves. You have to build. I think it's a beautiful thing. I don't think people dying is beautiful. I don't think the stress on the healthcare, unemployment is beautiful, but this extra time, I'm spending more time with Mama Swolio than I have since we met. I'm spending more time online with talking to people, 
that I haven't talked to in so long. A lot of you are spending time with people, your kids, you're spending time with your children, you're spending time with your pets, you're doing household chores that you've been putting off for years, you're investing in yourself, things that you haven't been able to do. A lot of you have messaged me saying you're writing the book that you've been wanting to write for years, learning how to play guitar or the piano, like, you can use this time wisely. Build a skill, take your business online, learn how to edit YouTube videos, learn how to make thumbnails, learn how to do graphic design, teach yourself something, teach yourself a skill, go on Upwork or Fiverr and start peddling your skills and start building an online business. You can do this now. I mean, these are the skills that you can build, not only for your body, you can invest in your health, but you can build skills that will translate into the future because we're not gonna become less digital. It's only gonna get more so. So this is your time while everyone is crying and bitching and moaning, why don't you take advantage of the situation and invest time into growing yourself as a fucking person? This article is like, okay, no shit, Sherlock, common fucking sense. Unhealthy people are gonna be more unhealthy. I don't think anyone that was beating off, watching Netflix all the time and playing video games is all of a sudden, I'm gonna take control of my life. And all of a sudden they're walking and exercising and do tons of shit. Okay, this is not gonna get people healthier. However, I am dedicated to do my fucking part in keeping you away from that dark path. If you're watching this, chances are you take care of your health much, much more than the average person. But if you're not, make sure you start investing. Start adding to your fucking life. Don't be a burden on society from a health standpoint or from just a worthlessness standpoint. I mean, unemployment is going up dramatically. So create your own employment. Start a business based on what you like. If you only like watching Netflix, start a YouTube channel where you review Netflix shows. Do something. It's so fucking simple. If you have a phone, you can make a YouTube video. You can have a YouTube channel. It's fucking free. This is fucking free. It takes my time. This is fucking free. I don't make sick bank on my YouTube videos but it's free for me to talk to you, for me to pass along my ideas and my message. Don't you have ideas? Don't you have a message? Do something with your fucking life. Do it, go, fucking do it. Don't be a statistic. How you like those nuts? You got not one, but two nuts. Two nuts in a big burly fucking sack. A nicely shorn sack. Quarantine sack shouldn't be hairy. Leave that for the face. <laughs> what do you think? Drop your comments down below. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Dropping Daily Knowledge Cock right here and also on the Daily Swole podcast. So you can go subscribe to that channel, The Daily Swole. All those links are in the description down below. And a reminder, Swole Normous X is going strong. We have so much content in there. We have the Nutrition Jumpstart Manual and the Nutrition Jumpstart video series with all the nutrition lifestyle breakdowns with a recipe archive, hundreds of recipes. We also have full programs that you can do at home. Also, we have the Yoga Studio, the Brain Gains Meditation section, and the Swole in Seven section where you have hundreds of classes with mobility, with yoga, we have chair yoga, we have kids yoga, we have yin yoga, so really passive gravity style stretching. We also have swolga classes, which is a section where I lead you through yoga classes myself, thus called swolga. The Swollen 7 series are seven minute workouts that you can build and block together like Legos. You can do dumbbell Swollen 7. You could do Swollen 7 mobility. You could do seven minutes of Swollen 7 repair and do some foam rolling and some flexibility exercises. You could do Swollen 7 bands. You could do Swollen 7 kettlebell, which is releasing in the next week or so. You can do so much stuff inside Swolnormous X, including your meditation. 10 minute, 20 minute, and some extended sessions are coming real soon. So we have new releases every single week. You have a private community where you are going to be receiving positive feedback and people that are fucking crushing it. I mean, those of you that are part of the Swole fam, you could drop that in the comments down below how much you love the Swole fam. Uh, it's not talk, it's action. You know, I run my mouth here. I put sack on a lot of fucking chins. I just hate the bullshit. I hate people that are pussyfooting around using this as an excuse to gain their quarantine 15. Step the fuck up and do something with a goddamn life. Stop weighing down the country. Stop weighing down society. Stop weighing down your family. Stop weighing down yourself, literally and figuratively. So check the links below. Check out Swanormous X. It would be my honor for you to join the Swole fam. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this fucking salty, vinegary, sweaty fucking sack. I need a shower. I'll talk to you soon. Peace. You're not Tessie. I wish they would just listen to daddy. Take care of the health, yeah? We need people to be healthy, yeah? Yes, but I like you nice and plump. More to love, yes? More to love. You're so cute. You're so cute.
Just think what you had, stop looking at trans, you wearing your eyes like a stop. Stop.